Alright, so now the next thing we need to do is try to run our app on a physical device. So what I've done is to connect an iPhone, a physical iPhone to my Mac computer. So if I go to device options, I'll be able to see my iPhone here. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. So this is my iPhone. So let's go ahead and run the app on the physical device and see what happens. So our app is building. And bam, so as you can see, an error was generated. So if I click on here to see what the error is, so it said could not find any available provisioning profile for Uber Ride and iOS. So before you can be able to deploy an app on an iPhone on a physical device, you need to first of all create um, a provisioning profile. And how to do that is by going to your info.p list. So we need to go ahead and make use of our bundle identifier to create a provisioning profile. So this is what the provisioning profile is. So this is what we'll have at the end of the day when we create a provisioning profile. This will now allow us to be able to run our app on a physical device. So these are some of the profiles I've created in the past. So I'm going to go ahead and show us how to create our own um, provisioning profile. So we need to go ahead and launch Xcode. Xcode installed on our computer. Because that's where we are going to be generating the provisioning profile. Alright, so I need to go ahead and create a brand new project. So we need to name this project exact same name that we gave our project on Visual Studio for Mac. So I'm going to go ahead and create a single view application. So I'm going to give it the same name that we gave our project. So this is the name that I'm talking about, Uber Rider. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And return back to our Visual Studio code. So my organization identifier is the same thing as what I have in Visual Studio. So I'm going to go ahead and press the product name. So I have this team here because I've logged in my Apple ID which has already signed up as a developer on developers.apple.com. So that's how you can actually um, create a development team. So I'm going to go ahead and select any of the teams that I have here. All right. So this is the bundle identifier, which is the exact same thing that we have in our Visual Studio. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Next. And save this here. Alright, now the next thing we need to do is to go to Sign In and Capabilities. So when you click on Sign In and Capabilities, this will go ahead and create a sign-in certificate for you. So as you can see, a provisioning profile has been created for us successfully. You need to be connected to the internet to be able to do this. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on this button so we can see what happens here. Alright, so what this means is that after 6 days, um, we won't be able to install or deploy our app to a physical device again. The only way to resolve that is by paying for Apple Developers Membership, which is $100. So once you pay the $100, you will now be able to have limitless days to always test your app on a physical device. So we need to take note of this provisioning profile. C69J5Z4655C and with this email address. Now the next thing we need to do will be to return back to our Visual Studio. So here in my info.p list, I'm going to go to bundle sign in. And here I'm going to select sign in identity. And this is the sign in identity that we just created. Alright. So I'm going to select that. Now the next thing we need to look for will be the provisioning profile that we just created. So as you can see, iOS team provisioning profile, com.ufenix.uberrider. We just created this provisioning profile and that's why it's showing here. Now the next thing we need to do is go ahead and click on OK. And we're going to try to run this app again on a physical device. So our app is installing, as you can see. So as you can see, we had some error here. So what we need to do is to go to our physical device and tap on the app. So as you can see, we are currently an untrusted developer. So how to resolve this issue is to click on cancel. And we're going to go to our settings. I'm going to log into general. We're going to go to device management. So this is the developer account that is actually trying to test on this device. So I'm going to click on this. 
and this is the app that we just installed so I'm going to go ahead and click on trust all right so this app has now been verified so I can now go ahead and try to open the app and bam so this is our app on a physical device so this is exactly how to go about creating provisioning profile and testing your app on a physical device so this will be all for now see you in the next class